Zach from Rules of the Road. My wife, Julie, and I set out across the country in 2019. We spent a year living the van life all across the United States and Canada, visiting every national park we could get our hiking boots on. In 2020, we flew over the Pacific to the other side of the world, to New Zealand, visiting all of the awesome sites we could see all across the Kiwi country, living in a tiny little camper van that we drove all across the North and South Islands until the coronavirus pandemic happened. Everyone shut their borders and we were forced to come all the way home, back across the world to Minnesota. We had seen these bad boys, these silver bullets called Airstreams, driving all across the country. And we got inspired to buy one and renovate it. We found one for $6,000 and we gutted it and are planning on renovating it to live in. At least that's the plan. We've lived in two camper vans that were no bigger than a minivan. So something like this is gonna be pretty spacious, we hope. But it's gonna be a lot more work. This is what our home looked like before. all the windows. We had broken seals and the windows were all sorts of dirty and gunky so we had to take them out. Once we had the windows out, I knew I needed some help from my lovely wife, Julie. So he brought me in for a reinforcement. And I spent multiple days scrubbing these windows. We had the goof off, the Windex, the uh, little chisel thing, or what do you call that? A scraper. Scraping all the gunk out of these windows. And it took days. My fingers were pretty raw by the end, but it all paid off because once we got them back in place, they looked brand new. Four's rigged under there, and we think we're gonna make it slide right off of it when I let go of this. Yeah. <laughs> While we were on one of our hikes in New Zealand. Julie had been talking and pouring her soul open about wanting a family. And 2020 can't really get any weirder for us, so we thought maybe we should start trying for a family. We're both 30 years old, maybe it's time. Maybe the world's telling us it's time. We knew we wanted our family planning to be low stress, um, and we know everybody's pregnancy journey is very different. So we just decided if it happened, it happens, and we we're okay with that. But um, then it happened. make this a home for three now, not just two. We need a sleeping section for us here in the back and a nursery for the baby somewhere. 
it is time for some destruction. Airstream came with this whole plastic piece right here. Looks like it was stock. All original equipment. This reader is actually pretty sweet, but all the paneling has got to go. We're going to our first ultrasound appointment. It has to be a remote appointment since I'm not allowed due to COVID-19 restrictions. That's okay because I got an awesome recording and this super sweet video of the baby's first heartbeat. episode of our Rules of the Road Airstream renovation. We build out the interior of our Airstream. We pick a name for the Airstream, not our baby. We still don't know what to name our baby. We tell our parents that we're pregnant and we come to the conclusion of our Airstream renovation project. 